Hey there, and welcome back to the Nice Fast channel, guys. It is time for yet another unboxing. Yep, you got that right. And uh, this is going to be a fun one for sure. So, uh, by the way, got the got the new background all prettied up. Isn't that good? Okay, here we go. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. If you're not subscribed, if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. And definitely stick around. All right, let's see what we've got here. Uh, let's see, what knife? We're, we're going to use this... Uh, variant of the Kershaw Iridium that I just opened yesterday. This is M390 and Weave Carbon Fiber. Yes, sir. Uh, we're going to use that to unbox here. Uh, very sharp, as I found out a couple of times. No, I haven't cut myself. I'm just saying I've been cutting with it, and it is quite sharp. Thank you. Um, all right. If I can actually uh, not cut myself. All right, here we go. So this is from Rosecraft Blades. You guys know, I mentioned, I am now an affiliate with Rosecraft. I have not uh, been. Um, and Andy reached out to me from over there at Rosecraft and said, hey, you want to do this? And I'm like, absolutely. Uh, so I am now an affiliate with Rosecraft. And if you go down below... Uh, you will see a link in the description to Rosecraft, and you can use my code KNIVESFAST to get you 10% uh, off over there. And we got two knives to show you. Uh, one is uh, one that uh, Lefty sent me, so it's one we've already seen, but we're going to look at it and compare it a little bit. And then the second one is a brand new knife. So thanks to Andy over there. Uh, they're doing cool stuff, especially the traditionals. Very, very cool. Uh, I'm really, I can't find it right now if I tried, but it's over here. I, I'm really loving my uh, Savage Creek gun stock. Uh, really, really liking that one a lot that I purchased. So let's see what we've got here. We'll set this one off and we'll put this one right here, okay? Uh, this uh, is going to be the one we've already seen. This is the um, Briar Patch Jack. Now, what's going to happen, guys? I'm just going to tell you. Um, I'm, I'm just going to show you this now, and I may show it in a couple of shorts. Um, and we're going to compare. I'm going to just play with it for a minute and compare it as far as fit and finish to the other one I saw. And then we're going to probably give this away. Okay? So just stand by and be ready for that. So here is our beautiful clip point blade now let's see yeah so i would put it around the same place about a five and a half to six on that one and then here's our worn cliff and that's about a six right there and we have these gorgeous well finished back springs uh just look there are no gaps there's no gaps i mean there's beautiful transitions here even the shield the rosebud shield is finished very well. The pins, there's your nickel silver, nickel silver, nickel silver pins in this beautiful uh, gray, smoky gray bone, I think is what he called it. Very, very cool. Um, and I like that one a lot. Now, you have what amounts to, on this guy, uh, two primary blades, basically, lengthwise. They're about the same. Let's go to half stops on both of them. All right, you can see they're about the same length. Uh, they are both D2 steel um, and really nicely done. I mean, this thing is just a magnificent knife. I enjoy that one a lot. Now, I'm going to get my notes out on this next one real quick. You guys can uh, hang with me. Now, this one uh, is, by the way, these are $65 right now, uh, the Briar Patch Jack. They are $65 at rosecraftblades.com. You can see the address right there. Rosecraftblades. I can't do it without my hand in the way. Rosecraftblades.com. And you can use code KNIVESFAST. And that, guys, just like I just said, uh, that guy gets you... Um, uh, wow, get you 10% uh, uh, off. So that will get you down... Uh, a little under 60, I believe. Uh, all right, so the next one, and we're going to pronounce this. I've been practicing. Are you guys ready? Can you read that? This is the No No Lit Chucky. Wait, No Lit. Yeah, No Lit Chucky uh, Jack, okay? <coughs> Very cool. And this guy right here is 
uh, basically is going to be a standard jack pattern based on the very old IXL pattern. Three inch D2 blade spear point uh, with what they're calling vintage moss brown bone. Vintage moss brown bone. Four inches closed, seven inches overall, three ounces. And again, this is not a review. I will do a full re Ooh, full review on this. This is gorgeous. And these are $61.99. So again, with that 10% off, uh, you can definitely get this even less expensive. And don't forget, guys, you also had the option of going over uh, to traditional pocket knives and the information will be down there. But definitely these were sent to me by Rosecraft, so check that out, please, um, as well. But look at this bone. He calls it vintage moss brown bone. And that is cool. The depth you get because of the darkness in there and the grain in the bone is really cool. You do have uh, nickel silver pins. You have a, a rosebud shield again, and you have uh, stainless steel bolsters with a single flute. And I am very excited for what I'm about to show you. You have a long pole, by the way, and a swedge. And yes, sir, a beautiful spear point blade, what I would call a fat spear. Uh, to me, as soon as I saw this, um, this felt a little bit like uh, the spear point you see on a Northwoods, is it North Northwoods North? Shoot, what's the name of that company? You know what I mean. The not GEC, but the other one that does really beautiful uh, uh, traditionals as well. You do have the China sticker on, but that's very easy to just peel right off and then get the goo off. So let's do that real quick. I just like to see the whole blade on the review. But these are made in China. Uh, no, no ifs, ands, or buts, or hiding that one. Uh, we'll get the rest of the goo off later. It won't come off. But uh, now I permanently have a China sticker stuck to my to my finger. No, I got it. Okay. Uh, really cool. Now, size-wise, this is a great size. Uh, Four-finger grip here, definitely. And let's see what we've got. Okay, this one. Yeah, so this is closer to six, six and a half, I would say. D2 again, beautiful bone, and let's see that beautiful backspring. Now look at the seamless, that is awesome. Beautifully done, really nicely done. Now, um, no, that's not a gap. I thought maybe we had a gap on the back here, but that's just a dark spot in the bone. It's definitely not a gap. That is nice. All right, tell you what, guys, we're going to... You were, you're going to wait just a second. <laughs> you guys are going to kill me. Because uh, I am going to dig down here and I'm going to find uh, the um, the Savage Creek. Give me just a second. Because I think that would be cool to, uh, to compare. And I'm going to have to buy some more slips. I am... Uh, all of my slips uh, have knives in them. So um, this is getting rather awkward. Because all, so many of the slips look the same that it's going to take me just a second to find this daggone knife. Okay. All right. We'll just start piling knives out here. I might have a few slip joints nowadays. Just a few. Is it this one? Nope. That is not it. It's Watch it be the last one I pull out of here. Because that's just the way my life works. Are you kidding me? Is that it? That's it. Okay, I got it. So, ooh, at least you guys had some pretty knives to look at while I did that. That was not good. So that might be the drawback to having this beautiful background because it's uh, made out of tile. So I may have to switch this out, even though I really like the way the knives are popping up off of this. So I hate to switch it, uh, but I might have to if I keep dropping stuff. But anyway, uh, so there you go. You can see that the Savage Creek is a little bit smaller handle and blade, so overall, and lengthwise, the briar patch and the Nala Chucky, Nola Chucky, are uh, about the same length. Um, you can see, uh, obviously, with the two blades, it, the um, the briar patch is definitely thicker um, than the Nala Nola Chucky. Oh, come on, KC, get it right, Nola Chucky. Um, I like this a lot. This is going to be one 
that I once I find a slip to carry it in, uh, one that I will thoroughly enjoy uh, carrying. This is really, yeah, I'm digging that. That is a very nice, and you guys know me in spear points. Uh, this is going to be a good friend of mine. <laughs> uh, really like it. So, again, uh, this one will be available. Let's let's go check this out. I got to remember. Um, okay, heads up, blah, blah, blah. Um, April 15th. So, Monday, April 15th, they will go public. Um, and uh, you can definitely check them out and again, go to Rosecraft and you can use code Knives Fast, and that will get you 10% off from $61.99 uh, down below, closer to six to $55 or so. 50, I don't know. I don't feel like doing math, but you guys know what I mean. And this bone, guys, has a little bit of grip to it, so that's really nice. And it is very contoured and very beautiful. And this shape of this handle. Uh, I don't know what you call this. There's got to be a name. It's not really a sleeve board because it's got more of a, a drop to the handle. But this feels really nice in the hand. So very, very cool. So there are our two uh, Rosecraft knives. I said this was going to be a short unboxing, but I lied. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, taking a look at these three Two that just came in and the third beautiful Rosecraft. I will do a full review on this guy. Um, and my by now you've seen my video on these two. So very, very cool. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And thank you for watching the Knives Fast channel.